What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to talk about the gaming setup that I'm using right now in late 2018. So on in my Instagram earlier in the year, I showed that I was actually playing Fortnite with my Surface Book 2, the 15 inch, but that wasn't working out too well. Frame rates were very difficult to stay consistent. I mean, I would have been happy with 30 to 40, but they would drop consistently down to 20 once the thermal issues came into play. And in that time frame, I tried keyboard and mouse. I even tried an Xbox One controller. Xbox One Elite controller. None of that really worked. I am a PlayStation guy from the beginning, so I decided to go back to PlayStation, but instead of just the regular one, I went with the PS4 Pro. So if you've looked for a PS4 Pro lately, you know that they're very difficult to find. I actually ran up the weekend it came out and got the Red Dead Redemption 2. Now there's nothing special with the PlayStation 4 in this variant, but it does come with the game. But really the only game that I'm playing right now and have been playing on it is Fortnite. Fortnite is my game, I love it. I've yet to win a battle royale on my own. I think I won one squad victory with some strangers who carried me the whole way. I have yet to win a solo, but one day, maybe one day. So obviously with the setup, you have the PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm not gonna get too deep into that. There's a ton of videos going over specs and things like that, so you can easily find one of those on YouTube. I'm just gonna tell you that my experience with it so far is it is fantastic, runs really well, uh, it looks beautiful. It's just a fantastic overall gaming experience. Right now I'm just going with the standard DualShock controller that came with the PS4 Pro. I plan on maybe updating to a scuff pretty soon, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm fine with this. My building skills leave a lot to be desired, so I'm, I don't know if the four more paddles on the back or two more paddles, depending on the version of scuff you go with, will really help me, I'm hoping. May get one of those for Christmas, but you never know. So, but for right now, the standard DualShock controller works fine. So for audio, I was originally using the Sennheiser GSP500. Fantastic gaming headset. They were nice enough to send those out to me a little while ago. I've shown them off in videos before. But one thing that, that that unit lacks is surround sound. I really wanted to try a surround sound style headphone. So I decided to pick up a different style headphone. I was really looking for something with an amplifier. Um, Sennheiser sells an amplifier, about $250, but again, those headphones don't offer surround sound and that's really what I was looking for. So I decided to try out the Astro A40 TR headset. The set that I got came with the Mix Amp Pro TR. Now I was able to get this refurbished on Amazon for about $175. I believe these run regular over $200 if you get them brand new. I'll leave links for everything that I'm talking about down in the description below in case you guys want to get more information on it. These things are fantastic. I mean, there's a bunch of features with it. The ear cups are super, super comfortable. There's even material over the actual driver. So if you have large ears, like myself, you actually, there's no rubbing, or if you do rub on the driver, um, a lot of them are plastic. This actually has the cloth covering over it as well, so it's very nice that way. Ear cups are super comfortable, even for long sessions. There's a lot of adjustment to them back and forth and around. Um, I really like the hash marks on each side, so if the kids end up wanting to use them or something like that, that I know I can go back to my hash mark and have the exact same snug comfort feel that I had before somebody started messing with my headphones. Aside from that, you have a super soft cushion up at the top over the headband. So with comfort, it's not an issue whatsoever. These are super comfortable, like I said, even for long sessions. The microphone is really good, but one, something that's really cool about these is it has the plates that are over the outside cups are removable, and you can actually order, or you can get custom ones, or you can get different colors. But the cool thing about them being removable is they're just magnets. You pull them off, the microphone's on the left side for me, but you can pull that off and there's a jack on the right side as well. So you just flip flop the uh, cover pieces and you can have your mic on the right or the left. Now that's something I've never seen on any gaming headset. So I think that's really nice if you need or if you would like the, the microphone on the opposite side, at least you have that option. Another cool thing is that 3.5 millimeter jack is actually removable. So if that breaks, you can just replace it and not have to replace the whole headset. So that's a big bonus. You have the mute inline. One thing that I loved about the Sennheiser headphones is that when I flipped the microphone all the way up in the upright position, it muted the microphone. This one, even when you have it all the way vertical, you still have to press the mute on 
on the inline switch. I really wish it just had the mute when you put it up in the upright position. I think that's really an underrated feature. That's probably the only feature I'm missing from the Sennheiser headphones. So aside from that, like I said, you get the Mix Amp Pro TR as well. That thing is just amazing. It's glossy, so it picks up fingerprints like ridiculous. Doesn't matter how many times you clean it, it just picks up fingerprints nonstop. It has a huge knob at the top where you can adjust the volume. Uh, there's a game voice smaller knob at the bottom. To the bottom left of the large knob, there's an equalizer button. You can have up to four preset equalizer uh, settings in there. You can customize them or it comes with stock ones right out of the box, but you just press the button and then a different quadrant of LED lights up so you know which one you're on. I've actually went into the software. You plug in the amp into a PC or a Mac and you can actually fine tune all of your settings and save it and then plug it back into your PlayStation. They also have one for the Xbox, but obviously mine is for the PlayStation. All you do is plug it in, set your presets, save it, pull it out, put it into your PlayStation, and then all your presets are saved there. The other button to the right is the turn off surround sound. I don't know when you would ever want that, but that's what that button's for. Then obviously at the top you have your power button, and if you press and hold the power button, the LED turns white. That's gonna get you into PC mode. That's when you can plug it into your computer and actually get into the software and change your settings. So on the front of the unit, you have the auxiliary, and then obviously your headphone port. Then you have where you can pigtail multiple ones on the left and the right. Along the back you have your optical, your stream, and your USB, which is your power. Uh, you can plug this right into the wall. I have mine plugged right into the back of my PlayStation 4 Pro. Everything works perfect, but you can just plug it into the wall if you don't want to take up one of your USB ports on your gaming device. So I've only had these for about a week or so, but I cannot explain how awesome the surround sound is on it. I can hear people reloading their guns, I can hear them changing guns, this is all Fortnite like I said. I can hear footsteps, I can actually better make out whether the footsteps are coming from the left or the right, above or lower. Now with season 7 I can actually hear the airplanes, whether which way, which direction they're coming in or flying away from, and it gets very, very loud. I don't keep it even on three quarter, I keep it a little bit above half and it just, it's very loud. If you kept it on full blast all the time, you'd be deaf within a week, guaranteed. That's not really a guarantee. So another thing that I have that's not a necessity, a lot of people with console games just play on their TV. Me, I'm trying to get a little bit more, like I said, some wins in Fortnite, so I bought a gaming monitor. It's a curved monitor. It's the Optics G27C2 from MSI. This is a 1920 by 1080 monitor. Of course, the PlayStation 4 Pro can output 4K gaming. Again, I'm really just using this for Fortnite. 1080 is perfectly fine for me. 140, 40 hertz refresh rate, so super snappy. Only negative that I'll say about this is I wish that the monitor was on a stand to where it could go up and down or I could rotate it around. It's on a fixed mount. You have no real adjustment except for a little bit of tilt, but really, I just wish it had more flexibility when it came to that. I like moving the monitor around depending on where I'm sitting, and it's really just stationary, so I have to really just move the whole stand around. Not a huge thing. I mean, this is really just sort of griping. The only other thing I wish, I wish I would have got the 24-inch monitor, which is what I went there to get, but they only had the 27. 24, if you read about it, is really the optimal size for gaming, and I find myself a lot of times when I sort of lean into the monitor um, that I have to back up my chair even more to get farther away from the monitor because I'm losing some peripheral vision. Again, I'm nitpicking, that's my own decision. I didn't want to wait for the 24, so I got the 27. It is what it is. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's a really great monitor. It looks beautiful, super clean, super sleek, nice. A little bit of red accent, but nothing over the top gaming, RGB, nothing like that. Very understated, but works really, really well, and I've been really, really happy with it so far. That's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's any peripherals or any gaming controllers, anything that you think I should know about, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. Let me know what you guys are playing on. Also, let me know what you guys think of Fortnite Season 7. I'm loving it so far. If you guys enjoyed the video, you can hit the thumbs up. That's down there too. If you really, really liked it, you can subscribe to see more content coming very soon. That's gonna be it. I appreciate you guys watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one.